A year ago today, I gave up. I posted a final video here and left for a while, losing touch with the passion that had been driving my life forward. I had just moved to a completely new place, thousands of miles away from anyone I had ever loved or anything I had ever known, to build my life and find my home. I started to find a little family out here, but beyond my dog, I was completely alone for the first time in my life, all during a very complicated time in our collective history. When I first got here, the thrill of new adventure clouded my sight, but it wasn't too long before I found myself dragging my feet, quickly becoming overwhelmed by the past and realizing for the first time that this adventure was driven more from the need to escape than the desire to see more. Ultimately, this realization pulled me deep inside myself. I lost joy in the small things, and working in my passions became almost painful. It was all just piling on top of me so fast. This novel land, the new energy, and the old that refused to let go. At first, it felt like I would drown, and then for a time, I let myself. But slowly, I saw through the fog, noticing for the first time in a long time the profound beauty that had always been right in front of me. Self-growth takes sacrifice. The phoenix doesn't just rise from the ashes, she must first set fire to herself, igniting her nest and allowing it to burn in entirety alongside her. She rises not from simply the destruction and devastation around her. She destroys every bit of what defines her in order to become the next rendition of herself. And so just as the phoenix must first set fire to herself and all that defines her, I took steps to cut ties with all that defined me, and all that was holding me back. I moved again. I cut my hair. And redefined so many aspects of myself. I began to live life in all the ways I had only dreamed of, but had always been too terrified to try. Over time, I kept some of the new and found a rhythm back to some of the old, but the old all feels so much lighter now. I moved again, returning to nature, to a place I know I can't stay for long, but will cherish for the time I have with it. My hair is growing longer again, but it no longer bears the weight of the years past allowing for new stories to weave their way through the strands. And I've been able to grow into someone I'm proud of. I believe that new perspectives are the most valuable thing anyone could collect. And each lifetime grants us the unique opportunity to see from as many sides as we could ever dream. And so instead of getting caught up in one view, I wish to forever grow and seek new designs. Because truly, one day you'll look back and all you'll see is wonder. The moments when you felt stuck or lost or overwhelmed will no longer paint this time. All you'll see is what you conquered despite it all. What was stuck will move. What was lost will be found. And what overwhelmed you will be what allowed you to grow and become the person you were always meant to be. So much changes with time, and perspective is a powerful thing. It's only been a year, but everything is different now. 
And while I'm still on my journey to find my home, I've made great waves in finding myself. And I hope to always have the strength to burn and to set fire to what I must when it's time to begin anew and rise again from the ashes.